Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to DK64Randomizer.com. We are in winner's round two of the Season 2 tournament. It's uh, We got another great matchup for you this evening. Hopefully you'll watch yesterday. Hopefully you'll watch tomorrow. But today, today on the mic, or today on the stream, we've got the boss man himself, Tudos, and versus Drum. We got a nice matchup going I am Lorock. I will be on the mic for the seed. Joining me is Mr. Rippy. How you doing? Howdy, hey, Lorock. Hey, how are you doing? Let us cut to the scene. Cut to the music, and we're going. Well, okay, I say we're going. We got a few minutes before they get kicked off, in which time we can dissect their start and come to the conclusions on the various decisions they may partake in Season 2, starting with their three random moves, camera shockwave, one slam, three keys, the standard fare. Hmm. So, looking at the starting moves that we have in front of us, um, trombone immediately being available is going to open up a lot, wouldn't you agree? I... Definitely love seeing Trombone. Of all the lanky moves you can have, Trombone might be the best one. Definitely the least not useful. <laughs> the least I mean, not it, useful. <laughs> that's what we all know lanky is an abomination. <laughs> um, whereas Donkey Kong's moves are very interesting. As we know, uh, DK Arcade is not inside the... S2 possible random locations, at least according to the S2 preset, so that's immediately out of the way. But that does also open up a couple of different things that he could do, or that both of our players could do, including Mills, as well as uh, Castle Minecart. Nothing and, good. Uh, Absolutely nothing good. Those speaking DK, of DK moves, DK moves suck if they're not coconut or bongos, because they, they usually lead to nothing nice. So And they got two of them, so let's go. Speaking of terrible starting moves, we also have everyone's least favorite move to see as potentially Waff, Balloon Blast. That is that is the danger. Also, they got two very slow Kongs to start with, so they're gonna be uh they're gonna be waddling around for a while. That movement is definitely gonna be something. Yeah. Hopefully Donkey shows up. Hopefully we don't have a repeat of what happened yesterday with, with Kong hands. Hopefully they find their Kongs and life is good. We'll see how things go. One can only hope. Yeah. Yeah. But nothing interesting in Isles opens up off the rip, so it's gonna come down to these early levels. There we go. Oh, uh, look at... Uh, the, king him, the king himself, Connor, has de decreed that we are all scrubs for hating on Blast. And it's true, I, uh, we are all scrubs. It sucks. Yep. You got me. <laughs> we are exposed. Shown up. No matter... Yeah, if you think you can do better, you can hop on the stream. Yeah. Hang on, hang on, don't, don't do it, don't, don't, <laughs> don't anger him. <laughs> he, he might do better. <laughs> He'll have his day, no doubt, when we uh, get to his matches, but we are very close to starting soon. We should see these timers ticking any second now, so... Woohoo! For anyone who is tuning in right before we start, it, this is the Season 2, Week 2, qualif or, uh, week two Elimination brackets of the season two race for Donkey Kong 64 randomizer if you enjoy what you're seeing or have any questions please check out dk64randomizer.com we're off winners round two the winner can continues on to the winner's bracket the loser is not out yet it's double elimination so it's not it's not over yet but you would very much so rather not be in the loser's bracket you want that game to give Nothing interesting in the sprint cage. Classic prison opener. Getting this dirt here that's available from the start. I think that this is probably the universally agreed upon best thing to do at the jump. Well, I don't know. You could make the case that looking at level two is is uh, better. Tudos is opting for the dirt before going to level two. Drum's going to level two. This is a little more traditional. I here. agree with Tudos on this personally, but that's just me. I could go either way. To be honest, as long as you're just kind of doing everything relatively efficiently, you're good to go. He finds his first GB, so that's that's always a good pickup early. Looking at our first suite of hints. Castle Surroundings, Key 8. Castle Surroundings, big place, so we'll see something there. So, 
We got a hint that said that uh, the battle arena in Vulture Room is Way of the Horde, so that means that Grape is going to be uh, Way of the Horde at some point. Grape's going to be Way of the Horde. Diving is going to be Way of the Horde. And oh, yeah. Isle Shop, nothing interesting there. Let's see what we got. A tiny K rule phase. Nice reveal. Shipyard outskirts dead. That's, in my opinion, something very good to see. And Tudos has found what was previously hinted on Drum's screen, which was Key 2 was held by a dirt patch in DK Isles. Yep, and he gets to go to Lobby 3 first, so he, he sees Aztec first. Nothing interesting in caves or in castle lobby, it seems. The cabins are foolish. Well, that. That's a big ol' area. That's like 10 checks right off the rip that are no longer in consideration. Alright, so we have a surroundings to key 8 and a surroundings to key 7. Those could be pointing at the same thing, but uh, they may not be. Castle surroundings is fairly large. Ooh, the bean location. So, for all you bean leavers out there, that's where the bean would be in vanilla. We have part one of two of the bean leavers here. Pretty close, pretty close. Oh, and then right next to it, we get the beanstalk dirt. <laughs> My god, Chad. <laughs> this is, all right, this might be as close as we get to the bean without it actually being the bean. That's pretty remarkable, gotta say. Bean and bean accessories. Coming, coming in hot. All right, Drum saw that hint for Key 2, and he uh, correctly decides to charge back into the training grounds to go find Key 2. This is a nice pickup here. We still don't know what level 1 is. Maybe level 1's Forest? And the, these bean and bean adjacent things are good? I think that seems reasonably likely. We got Aztec. We, all, all our hinted levels have been seen, right? We've seen Castle, we've seen... Aztec, and I don't know we're missing this forest. So if forest is level one, it makes a lot of sense. Uh oh. I think Tudor's got caught. He got caught before he could read the hint! Oh, disaster! <laughs> oh, well, that was an interesting sequence. <laughs> yep, they'll do that to you. They Sometimes they... I think it happens if you're, like, in the air or something. I've had it happen before where you hear the noise that you got caught, but you don't... But it doesn't, like, fade you out until a couple seconds later, you know? It, the I've time it that. would oh, the yeah. time it would have taken the Kong to do the animation of like crying and slamming on the ground or whatever. Oh, and Tudos reads the hint and dies at the same time. That might be optimal. Well done. <laughs> Seems legit. Swings his hair in disgust, and we both they're charging over one at the same time, and we see a vial. What do we got here? Pink vial's always interesting at the front. Monkey port. Love wow. That. Love that. They need that for sure. Caves and mines. Caves and that like means that. that we're not going to be doing. Um... Oh boy! Ow. Forest, forest boss on the way. Of the horde. They're doing a boss today. Oh boy! This is this is a seed that we have in our hands, folks. Donkey five door temple. All right. So they got to get to the back of Aztec, but they need coconut. Like they need coconut. Okay. So the hinted. Oh no, that's a different arena. That's hinted. <laughs> Battle arena and fungi forest. Holy smokes! We are getting barraged with hints. All right, I think we got everything down. So testing to key five, just one hint there. So maybe it's just, maybe it's just there. Surroundings to key seven, maybe it's just there. Maybe it's something else. Surroundings to key eight, so maybe that could be the same thing as key seven. Maybe. Uh, shops to tiny K rule. We have not seen either photo or mini, or a castle shop specifically. So castle is looking pretty nice. But forest is loaded up on way of the hordes. The boss, which should be defeated, or which should be beatable, right now. He's gonna have something, so. They gotta roam around and catch as many CBs as they can get. While they're running around collecting CBs, could you for a moment explain why the boss is able to be defeated right now? So the way the, the boss numbers work, the essentially the, the trough and scoff values, they are calculated such that when you enter the level, you're it it takes into account all of the colored bananas you can get with moves in and before that level. No further. So they don't need anything from level 2 to return to level 1 to beat this boss. And it's not, which usually means that your level 1 is pretty cheap, so this should be pretty easy to get. Ooh, I did not see what that tiny thing was, but it looked 
Interesting. I believe it was a rainbow coin. Ooh, early rainbow coins are very nice. Solve all your coin problems early? I love that. Big fan. With a starting grab, I'm kind of curious, what's in the mill? What do we got Judas here? Judas is inside the mill, and, and we're going to peek if that grab is going to be worth something or not. He refuses to peek it until he sees a pearl. Excellent. My good. Oh, uh, okay. Garbage? Sadness. Probably garbage. Hard to say. Drum opts to go for the rainbow coin. I kind of like it. Forest is not a level of many coins, and we get a decent chunk of coins. With Tiny, I actually get a fair few. So, hmm. Blanky get a bit. This is a tough call. In general, the, the real value of rainbow coins is the coins you get for Kongs you don't have. And not having three Kongs makes rainbow coins like really strong right now, but... Yeah. It's, this is no factory, that's for sure. They're not going to be swimming in coins quite yet. There's also a question of when they're going to need to start hitting up shops uh, or not, and whether this payoff is going to make sense uh, for that time investment. It really is one of those blind things where there's no right or wrong answer. At least there's no answer that is more correct or incorrect than the other. There's a shared potion inside Cranky's lab here. Wonder what it could be. This could be correct, though. This might be something good. Just enough coins. Empty the bag for diving. Ooh. Now we're cooking with gas, and we, yeah, we now have access to uh, Zone 4 and those four to five hints available there. Yeah. Maybe that's worth it? You certainly don't do this before the arena. Oh, no. Day. Hmm. I have not heard a dink on Tudos' side. I think because Diddy is accessible. All of Diddy's bananas are also included in the count, so they may have to go pick up Diddy and then run around for a while to get bananas to get to this boss. This boss might be this might be a truly obnoxious number for this boss. <laughs> in my opinion, the early forest boss uh, check is always one of the most frustrating, just because the press for colored bananas, at least when I was running with very similar settings to this, was very difficult. I would always end up having like, oh, if there were 125 available, my bosses would be 123. And it's very easy to lose track of what you do or don't have, especially with such a limited pool of Kongs and an even more limited pool of colored bananas. I don't, as Larock said, we both don't know what the door is, so it could be just a very convenient, they're going to pick up one more bunch and it's going to hear a doink. Or it could be You really not. hope so. You really hope so. <laughs> the problem is, that one of the big problems is that Forest Troffenskopfs are in horrible spots. They're all terrible. The there. best the best one, or at least the most commonly viewed one, is the one at the very top of this mushroom. There's one that's, like, kind of accessible over by Snides at daytime, but, like, that's, like, a little bit too far out of the way. You're already climbing the mushroom anyway, so you're just kind of going on faith that, like, yeah, surely I'll be able to beat it when I get up there. Surely. It makes sense because you're going to be going up anyway and collecting colored bananas along the rip, or along the path. So it, it, it does make sense that it would be the most viewed one because you're already walking up with a pretty much firm number of colored bananas before you see how many are required. Right. And uh, Chad is correct. Uh, Tiny's Forest Metal is terrible. That is that is a metal of ridiculous requirements. It it can like come into logic by complete surprise at random points. I think with diving, I think with diving they need like feather or mini to get it. If Chunky shows up, maybe punches enough. It's like stuff like that. It takes like a, a comical amount of requirements. Maybe grape is enough? Like... <laughs> we do know that grape is going to be Way of the Horde at some point because we do need to go to a couple of different zones with it. And we do have diving already, so Aztec, I suspect, is going to be... I mean, we already know that it's Zone 3, but I suspect that that's where the player is going to be heading to very soon, assuming that grape pops up, which I personally suspect it will very soon. But, again, so. wild speculation. Who knows? We can hope so. All right, Tudos is going to get our first look at the number here. The all-important 56. 56? Is he wow. going to tap D-pad up to check the number? No, he's not. He's not giving us any help. But Diddy is on the arena, so here's some help. That'll help a lot. 
56 is a very achievable number. I don't think they're going to have too many problems reaching that. They may have to run around for a while and find some spares. Like, they may have to, like, do a loop around the mushroom for these ditties, or... They can't yeah, I'm not night. seeing any. I'm not seeing any desperation uh, or any desperation plays by either of our players right now when we get there. They may have to go back to the mills to take a swim in the moat, but that, that would that would definitely be unfortunate. Oh, and they get some Diddy coins as a care package right to start. What a nice spot. Do you have to say, I think I prefer Drum's Diddy Kong color today. It's a nice mint. Mint. As we start to move into the cooler uh, months of the year in the Northern Hemisphere. He's looking fresh. Oh, yeah. And Tudo's taking the lap. Or while he's checking other stuff here. Oh, careful. All right. All good. Price is averted. Air few GBs. They need four to get in the castle, so the castle's now opened up. Although I don't think they're gonna leave here without uh without the boss. Get the uh, bunches on the rocket barrel bounces, both in the center and elsewhere. 38 right now. All right, maybe I underestimated how many he had. This is gonna be kind of nasty. It's gonna be close, but he definitely with warp five tagged. He shouldn't really be. It's a nuisance, that's for certain, but it's not insurmountable or anything right. that is a big concern before we leave. It's very doable. Although I think he is gonna have to go to the mill. Yeah, he could get the twelve. He could get the twelve in the moat. Or no, there's like seventeen in the moat or something with diving. Or maybe the rocket barrel bounces. Or he's choosing to get these five up top here. Going for a skill issue uh colored banana check. This one's hard. Alright. Oh I, yeah. I, I like to say kick sliding is easy. This one specifically is just like really mean. For this some is reason. the second hardest one in the game, in my opinion. Of the tricks that we currently have knowledge of. This is, I think, the second hardest kick slide. They have options though, so we'll see what they route into. Looks like Drone is opting for the forced center bunches. Alright, he finally made it in. However, you know, kick sliding up here, you can then also like get some checks, right? This dark room one is super free. Pick up the 10 pack in here. This is pretty nice. Yeah, this is a pretty good time investment overall to at least get one check out of the way in addition to what I think is enough colored bananas. Could be. And a pearl for the road. Maybe you need yeah. that. Maybe you don't. It's easy. You can grab it. Perfect. I heard the dink. He's got it. This is a good This is a good trip, actually. This, uh, yeah. this room is really good. I like this. I'm going for the moop. Another good option. He can head into the Snides TNS. So there's a TNS perfectly nearby. He'll have a good time here. And he's working towards the tiny metal that we have described as being the worst metal in the world. Okay, maybe it's not the worst, but... It's pretty close. <laughs> so what might this boss have? I don't know. Be so it anything. can't be... Um... <clears throat> it can't be Mad Jack because we don't have Ponytail Twirl yet. Well. <laughs> and it, yeah. It, it's, there's a world where it's severely inconvenient that it's locked behind barrels. There's a world it where it's, it's, it's like barrels on like tiny forest metal or something disgusting. Or Twirl exactly. on tiny forest metal. And that, that would be unholy. Drum is also clearing out his mills. He hadn't done this yet, so that makes uh, routing in his CBs here pretty good. So that's a potion. The vial of I'm some color. always interesting. What color is that? Everyone crane your necks. Looks purple. purple. Alright. Cut out. Alright. Nice and easy. Just uh take your time working through your cannons. As we rock the place. I'm working on a ditty metal here with a little cheeky tag here. You can scoop up 44 junk. Tragic. Good route. Sometimes it just doesn't work out. That's the nasty thing with metals, is sometimes you like get really you get really clever with your routing for metals. They're really efficient, and then it just turns out the metal is literally junk. And you're just Yeah. <laughs> there have been a couple of times where I've thought that I was cheeky when I've been playing and I got my metal check and it was like something terrible. Like it, it while it's not present in the season two race preset that we're currently watching, there are ice traps that you can enable in the game. 
that can be on metal rewards. So it's like, oh, okay, I pushed really hard. What do I get? Oh, no, I get something unfortunate. Have I you lose. Been, have you ever been ice trapped off of Castle? Uh, no. I've been, ice, I, I've been ice trapped off of Castle. It's pretty rough. <laughs> it's very funny. I got, I got ice trapped underwater and immediately sunk to the bottom, which was fun. <laughs> Endless surprises in K64randomizer.com. Oh boy. Just case ice, game. Ice trapped on the production conveyor. All right, all right hot that tip. Hot tip for all you uh, King Cutout enjoyers. So watch where he's lasering. So he lasered from two doses right. Now he's going to laser from straight ahead. And then he's going to first pop out to the one counterclockwise. He always does this. So Tudos knows he needs to stand by that cannon, react to the first pop, and he will be immediately at the first pop immediately. So... Tudos knows how this boss works. He always moves counterclockwise. So, little, Knowledge little. ascertained from... I can't even begin to describe how many hundreds of hours Tudos has put into this game. Especially yeah. when he was actively running to get world record. How many times he went through this boss in particular. No kidding. No kidding. So, there's a little tip for you out there. Because Cutout shows up all the time in Season 2, so... That might save you a couple seconds. Purple Potion is going to be Saxophone Slam. So this is interesting. I think that the next move might be to go to Krem Isle and do this tiny sax pad on the top of uh, Krem Isle. Oh, yeah. Dude, I was thinking the same thing. If you see Monkey Pork plus sax, it is just like a red alert for this pad. It's not hard to get to, and boy howdy, it seems to have stuff all the time. <laughs> The freest of checks if the game is pointing you in that direction. There's a ferry up here too, so you might be thinking maybe maybe a little banana ferry island angle? Hmm, perhaps? I'm not thinking that yet. We haven't seen many. Hello! Hang on. Ain't no way. Okay, it's cool. No. All right, all right, nice try, nice try. <laughs> I almost, ate, I almost ate my words instantly. That would have been very I'm impressive, good. but... Oh, that would have been good. Not so fast. Three out of the five tiny moves? Pretty good. Love seeing that. Unfortunately, they're missing the two that they need for Tiny K Rule. But... <laughs> so Schwartz did bring up a good point that we do now have logical access to Aztec because of Ponytail Twirl. Excellent point. Jeep's chops. Jeep's looking up to be uh, kind of a dud. So Castle Metal is on Lank is on the aid to Lanky's uh, K Rule phase. That's big because that's pointing to barrels. So they know we're... They have a pretty good idea where Barrels is now. Ooh, Forest shots to Tiny K roll, and Cranky had nothing, so Forest Funky is in the cards. And that's Featherlock, so maybe Mini is over by Forest Funky? We do know in Angry Aztec that we need to do the battle arena in uh, Tiny Temple, which we do need Lanky for. But that's not, so, a, that's not in a Lanky check. Really? So, no, it is not. It, is an, it would say it would be in an arena. So... It would, it, would say, it would instead say it's like in an arena in Aztec. So it is a specific lanky check. So it could be on the Vulture, but it that, the, not the arena. I would... That would be hysterical if it was on then, the uh, Vulture. And now surroundings to key four. So we've got three, three different keys being hinted in the surroundings. I'm thinking these surroundings are going to be loaded up. We're going to get some goods out of here. <laughs> And with Aztec costing 8 GBs, they don't really have any options. Let's go Castle. Ooh, Twirl, they can, kick, they can cheat their way up here. A rainbow coin, or the more likely, the dirt. Junos made that look easy there, but for people who don't have ingrained muscle memory at this point to DK64 and the specific movement tech that you need, that uh, that skid jump is ridiculously uncomfortable to do. It is very inconvenient. Oh! Did you see that on drum screen? That was interesting. I saw a clear vial in the coconut cage. What might that be? Coconut, coconut gun is probably the most important, um, if not important, then one of the most useful moves in the entire game of the non-starting moves. So I would strongly suspect that we're going to, that's going to be something important. Ooh, it, depends on where, it depends on where DK is. Do we know where DK is? 
I don't believe so. I don't... I need to double check on that if we've seen a DK hint. I don't think we have. Not sure. Twirl for drum, drum picked up so he's... the fairy while he was over here, so he could be thinking that is on the path to where he needs to go. Mm. Be... I feel like fairies are very slept on in terms of if they're in if they're in the way versus out of the way of quickly grabbing them. Especially since we've seen a couple of races die a horrible death to not having enough fair or finding out that you need to do BFI and then scrambling to get five fairies. That is highly unfortunate. However, it's kind of looking like Mini is going to be kind of buried. They've got Forest Chops to Tiny King Rule and that would just be Feather Locked. So we don't know where Feather is. Feather might be in a shop here because we have a... Uh, that's what shops to tiny K rules, so it's possible that it just turns up, which would be all sorts of nice. Oh my god, you're totally right. There was diving in the forest shop. Oh boy, that kind of... That kind of, uh... That throws a wrench into things. Alright, got me. This is very complicated, tracking everything is very hard. <laughs> this it is not so simple to keep track of this entire game. No matter, we press on. Diving is less scary than it might seem. It basically tells you it's either in Galleon or maybe it's something in the Tiny Temple, which they're definitely going anyway. We all knew that was on the path. Here we go. Action. Action time. We got... Rocket Barrel in the surroundings. Big time. And you can take that straight up top. You might not want to climb castle because you don't have Rocket Barrel, but if you just find it on the way, that's pretty nice. Certainly makes your life easier. Oh, Jacob. Thanks for the raid, Chief. I trust your seeds went well. Oh, we got another hit! Primate Punch is definitely something that is going to unlock a lot for both of our players later on. Or even now with the um, with the castle surroundings, if they find Chunky, they can quickly come back here and do the shed in order to see what's in there. That's a primate punch check. Oh my god, we're getting check, uh, check after check after check after check. We got punch on one screen. We got grape out of the shops, that the, which might lead to feather. Oh boy, it's going back and forth. Maybe it's... well... Huh. We know the ant hill is required, but that needs mini. But we think mini is feather locked. Huh. This is getting, this is getting ugly real quick. This forest is gonna be busy. <laughs> Let's keep things simple. What's in the greenhouse? Alright, junk. Alright, great. Please. Well, maybe not junk, but it's all. We do have a second check that we can do while we're in here in the battle arena. Yep. Drum doing the recently documented backflip. I hesitate to call it a strat, or, well, strat, trick, whatever you would like to refer to it as. Where you can, with Tag Anywhere, backflip on top of these hedges in order to uh, kind of jump over them and save a little time on the move towards the other side of the greenhouse. Found one day by... by, uh... Uh, high quality community member, member Camerson. He'll be on stream tomorrow. That's crazy. Whoa, more stuff in the surroundings. Here we go. Yet it, this is. I'm suspecting that this is gonna be triangle or pineapple launch here. I'm thinking pineapple. If we need to get the forest funky, pineapple really needs to turn out pretty quickly. We also have the option of, with Primate Punch already at our disposal, the shed being there. So either triangle or. Uh, the wet pineapple are going to be both useful for that. Either way, really, honestly, anything would be useful because Hunky Chunky does allow us to do Pound the X, which we now have access to because we played the instrument on top of Prime Isle. Right. A lot of value out of these chunky moves. Triangle for Shed, Hunky Chunky for Pound the X, Pineapple for possibly a, a Forest Punky in the future. Oh, and Tudos is 
I'm getting caught. See ya. Have a good one. Out he goes. It is pineapple is our green vial of choice in the surroundings. All right, so it that's looks not... like Featherbow is going to be what we're going to be trying to hunt as soon as possible. Right. Well, okay, so here's the unfortunate thing. We have three different keys hinted in castle surroundings, and we have three different items and no keys. This is probably the worst case scenario. <laughs> it you... could be any combination of those three items that we got here. You or could, maybe could... just one item, or none of the item, or like it could be one item gets three, or it, it could be rocket two barrel, items. rocket barrel to everything, punch to everything, uh, one of each, uh, rocket barrel to key seven, key eight. Who knows? You have to just keep all these moves in mind, as they're pretty important. You really hope you see a key, so you just don't have to worry about as much. It's like okay, I got my key, we're done here. I hesitate to refer to it as a logic chain and more like a logic Gordian knot at this point. Trying to unravel it is just going to destroy your brain. It's gonna be, it's gonna get brain melty, brain hurty. I wish them luck. They they may need it. All right, there's one more surroundings check they can do. They can't do the tree, and the tree is surroundings. They can't do the tree. They can't do trash. They can't, or they could do the shed. It would be out of logic, but they could do the shed. I don't, I don't did uh did drum do the shed? I don't think I saw him do it. They don't have chunky though, so oh. can they? Yeah, Man, I got, <laughs> we're both hyping. Myself. Yeah, we're both hyping oh, ourselves no up over something super interesting that neither of them can do right now. Yeah, minus one me, minus one me, all good. We go again. Oh. Instrument upgrade one for two dose off of Lanky's metal and castle. Metals are interesting. Metals are on the path to Lanky K rule, so they might pull barrels out of one of these metals. And unfortunately, it's neither Diddy nor Tiny, so uh, it's still gonna start getting ugly. <laughs> Oops. Yeah, that is unfortunate. Uh, well, hmm. you know what? They could go to Aztec right now and get something out of the uh, the arena in Aztec. We can do that right now. Did Drum pick up Grape? Or no, that's in the shop that they're about to walk up to. Running on right towards it at this moment. Bang. Uh, I'm pretty sure we can't get Diddy's Metal. Um, it's close, but I think we're like 10 off. We need Pineapple or... Or no, we need Peanut or Punch. Oh no, wait, we got... Or, we need Peanut or Chunky. Because we have Punch. Kind of ugly. So it goes. Maybe something interesting on this twirl spot. Oh, I got twirl. I don't think. I think two does. Drum truly two. Oh no, boss. this was a two does look at it. Drum peak the boss cost very briefly. It was, I believe, seventy colored bananas, and drum currently has sixty. So they're right there for oh, yeah. almost being right there. If you wanted to check it, he's going to grab like 30 lanky smalls in the lower tunnel or in the lower cave and he'll be off to the races, so he'll be fine. Meanwhile, two doses had enough. He wants to know what's on the boss. We might get a little high five and drop stuff in a moment. Let's go. A real back and forth here, and they need eight to get into Aztec. Uh, Tudos doesn't have enough marked on his tracker. I'm not sure what numbers he's at. Uh, Drum would have to dump his one blueprint to get in. But, uh, Looking at both of them, they're both, like, just on the cusp of being able to do it. And it's junk. Womp womp. Quick metal check for Tudos. Yep, you gotta do. Gotta look at the ballroom. And yeah, Rocket Bro puts this in logic, so this would be. This could be a key. This actually brings up an interesting uh, point. One of the UI settings that we have available for DK64 Randomizer. If you look at drum screen in the top right, you see that there's a D pad visible with the Kong's faces as well as a metal that is colored in or not. 
that is a toggleable option in the miscellaneous or uh, personalized settings for DK64 Randomizer. You can have that enabled so you can see which Kong is next on your D-pad tags, as well as quickly being able to press up to see what, uh, how many colored bananas you have total, as well as blueprints. And interestingly, if you look at this quick heads up right now on Drum's screen, you can see that the colored banana medal is filled in. That means well, that Drum has the colored banana for Tiny in this level. If it is dark or otherwise washed out, that means that they still have yet to collect it. One of the many very interesting and fun settings that have been put in to help you know, just bring, spark more joy, as it were, into the players of DK64 Randomizer. I love that thing. It's so good. That D-pad is awesome. I've spoken to Tudos about it, and his response was just pretty straightforward that he doesn't, or he finds it kind of distracting, which I understand. Sometimes, though, it does save you a minute or two, or not a minute or two, it saves you a couple of seconds in a race setting, because Drum now doesn't have to pause in order to see whether he got all the, or they got all the metal checks in this level, whereas Tudos had to scroll through the menus to figure that out. Small things. What is Tudos coming back here for? Was there... Oh, he's buying a GB here to get into Aztec. He is at 7 and wants to get 8. Drum just I'm hit always 8. always in favor of Aztec. purchasing your GBs. Aztec, it's time. Drum went so far as to do a mausoleum check, which kind of sucks to go get that. To go get that GB, so... Drum really clearing out Castle here. He wants he leave the no stone unturned. He just got a ton of moves and he wants to use every single one of them instantly. That he can. He's missing a couple things. <laughs> he's, he's missing Chunky. We're also missing Guitar for Aztec, so they can only... There's a way of the Horde they can do in Aztec, but that's like one of the like three things they can do there, so... Kinda hope it's a good hit. You really hope it's like either Guitar or you find Chunky or... Yeah, maybe randomly find DK, maybe find a key? I don't know. Let's see. I think the best thing they could possibly see right now is either a key or it's going to be Guitar Kazam. I think Chunky, mini Chunky might also be the best thing they could find. Act 2. No, I'm thinking actually know. Mini Monkey might be the best thing because that does get us right into Ant Hill. Uh, oh, that's true. That would get us right in there. However, uh, yeah, and if they, they just need diving to get... It's probably diving on the path to something. Hmm. I'd be on the path to either Mini or Feather. Pretty likely. Alright, finally we get our first look at Aztec. What have we here? They're both coming in about the same time. The only no difference I'm noticing between our two players right now is definitely that Drum is going for the fairies, which, as I had mentioned before, I think it's slept upon to just kind of ignore them when they're right in front of you. So, it's completely unclear whether that's going to pay off or not. Who knows? It could be important. I'm a big fan of fairy skipping until I know they're good. Oh, if I, know, I... if I know they're good, then I'll go do them, but not a moment before. I strongly disagree, but that's one of the great things about racing is that sometimes there's no right way, sometimes there's no wrong way, sometimes you get punished, and sometimes you get rewarded. I'm playing my odds. There's no way. There's just no way it's going to be there. And then it is, and it's like, uh oh. <laughs> Surprise. Meanwhile, I'm skating to the end five minutes ahead of you because I don't have to. <laughs> yeah, okay, okay, have to okay calm down, turn. Buster. 10% <laughs> worse. Yeah, me, me, and Bracket. <laughs> Candy's loaded. Got three GBs. Love that. Well, I guess they don't have DK, but you know, that's pretty nice. Especially because they like just scrape the Randa Aztec. This is a nice little infusion for the next level. I'm trying to make heads or tails of that, like, 78 or so for that boss. I don't know if that means guitar is later. Ooh. Did that just say potion? That is a potion on the llama. Hmm. They have blast, so that's pretty nice. You guys taking stock. Make note of that so you don't ever forget it. It is always good to stop and take notes. It might look slow, but I promise you the time you save from having everything written down will help you immensely. 
that's one of the things that I constantly recommend to people when I see them get frustrated when they're racing and they see the top players finish maybe an hour, uh, 45 minutes to an hour ahead of them. It's take your time and write down your notes is I think the best, the most important thing that you can learn as a runner or even just a participant who plays DK64 Randomizer, make note of pretty much everything. You lose a second here and there for writing it down, but the moment that it pays off because you remembered, oh, I need to go do something here, wait, I already did it, or I don't know, or when did I get this move? That's really unfortunate. Good it night, saves Beaver. so much time. The beaver took a dip and <laughs> he, he paid for it. <laughs> Good Goodbye, beaver. <laughs> we, got, we got front row seats to that one. <laughs> They do that from time to time. <laughs> Did not get a 10 on the high dive. Unlucky. Yeah, he cannonballed in. <laughs> yeah. Um, you'll see every runner of all of of all calibers, every so often they will just pause, be recollecting their notes, and they will just be literally standing still, not knowing what to do. They'll do the little dance. There's always a little dance that everyone does where they just kind of like, they're just like fiddling with their control stick while looking at their notes, and you can just kind of like see them just like fidget from one side to the other. Everyone does it. Absolutely everyone. Uh, the wrinkly color coding is the the hints on the the wrinkly hints are it's basically just color coding to just help you read it. It highlights the important bits, and the color coding is uh, essentially to just signify what's important. You know, you tag tiny things purple, you tag lanky things blue, etc. Nothing too wild. Just just a little bit of something to help with quick reading. And of course they have to do Vulture with the worst gun in the game. Love that. But for those of you who aren't aware, there are three different strengths to your weapons. Chunky's Pineapple has the highest damage with three. Peanuts and Coconut do two damage per pellet. And Grapes and Feathers do one damage per pellet. So if you were to do this as Chunky, you would be able to take down the Vulture significantly faster than if you were to do it with Lanky. It's like five hits with Lanky and two with Chunky or something. It's it's a night and day difference in terms of your time sync. It's so much better. And then if you have homing ammo, it's even faster. It's unbelievable. But we got a purple vial on this arena. Is this mini or feather? This matters a lot. Kind of. It, it basically just tells you which thing you're going to next. If it's Feather, you go to the Beanstalk Dirt. If it's Mini, you go to the, the Ant Hill. So, there you go. We're going, we're going to the Ant Hill. Or Banana Fairy Island. Oh, oh geez. <laughs> oh, jeez. Don't, don't do that to these... Don't do that to these runners. Do not do that. Oh, here he goes. Two doses going straight there. <laughs> There's no way. That would explain Diving Path to Tiny, so that is... Looks to be solved. Alright, what what's behind this door? Oh no. Alright. Got me good. No. But but do they need that? Do you think they need that? I it, I don't think it matters if they need it or not. They still have to go for it. I you can gamble that. The, the thing you definitely need is vines. You definitely need vines as a clear vial, but if if you see the clear vial that's a coconut locked, that could be it too. You're also so early in the game with such a low sphere that it makes no sense, in my opinion, to completely ignore that. Like, I understand the logic behind it, but I think the payoff, the ROI in terms of your time sink, mm. it, it's just too worth it, in my opinion, to skip or otherwise ignore. I think it is reasonable to put it off, though. I think you don't- I don't think there's any urgency to get this item. You're not locked by anything- or you're, you don't seem to be locked by anything in particular. And you can just casually pick up fairies as you go. And when you've hit, like, three or something, then you go pick up the one at the top of Crime Isle, then you pick up the one on the island nearby, and you're good to go. But I don't think you're going out of your way to get fairies quite yet. Like, hmm. You're not no, going- you're not going back to the, like, castle or something to go dig up a fairy somewhere. Where are the fairies in the castle? There's one in the- yeah, you're not going back to, like, the ballroom monkey port to go get a fairy. That, that's just not worth your time. There's no way. There's got to be a better fairy than that. Oh, absolutely. But I think that's in terms of what we were talking about before, the incidental fairies that are already on your way, such as the one on top of Creme Isle, since you're already there. And Drum's got two! Drum's, Drum's got two! He got the one on top of Creme Isle, right? 
He did, yes. Okay, so he has the ballroom one and a two dose, because like the Crema I want is so fast, it's hard to put any advantage there. He's going to castle. What is he thinking in castle? My Maybe natural reaction to garbage? mini is. Maybe trash? Yeah, I mean, that's another surroundings check. That's pretty good, too. My natural reaction with this mini is go straight here away the horde, which is this anthill that Tudos is running right into. This is big time. It's it's unclear if it actually matters, because, like, what's, the, what's the, the best thing it could be is vines, and you don't really need vines until late. You really need vines to get into Helm, but, like, not before then, so, like... You're not really in a rush to get it. I don't think you have to do significant backtracking. You can just kind of like put it off for a while. If it's a slam, that's something to consider. But even still, who knows if you need a slam? We don't even know that yet. All right, what's in the end? So, what's in the trash? Yeah, Dueling saxophones. We're so, early, we're so early in the game that the number of dead checks at that point compared to live ones, or at least returns, are. It's a junk item. Yeah, one of these <laughs> one of these checks is gonna be a lot better than the other. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh, Tudos almost got oh, he almost got got by the the cutscene. But he pulls a guitar out of the end here. Massively jibated. Guitar is good because now we have access to the back half of Aztec. And I believe that gives them somewhere to go. Is that does that give another way the horde? No, but the back of Aztec is certainly interesting. You might just pull something out of the shops there. It could just, it could just be good. Judas is thinking otherwise. He's thinking... Castle. Maybe he's taking Mini to Castle? Like, Drum is now also doing a car race? This is a Castle Runes check, and the runes are not hinted. But, what if? It's a bit of Unlucky. So, Tudos is now going back to Castle, and probably going after trash can as well you might be trying to think can i get diddy's medal yet hmm, he's taking stock of his castle medals because it's like what medals do i have to do I get, can i get diddy's medal yet the answer is no but can i get diddy's medal yet <laughs> how about now how about now please please these medals diddy's medal. thank you diddy's medal also sucks <laughs> there's another garbage medal we were fortunate that the uh, tiny forest metal didn't appear to anything to, to be anything. I don't. Did Tudos get it? I'm not sure if he got it. I don't know if he got Tiny's metal, but Drum I think will because he got all the 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 bananas and the moat, so he, he's a lot closer to the metal if he doesn't doesn't have it yet. All right, Tudos is taking his guitar to Aztec. Love that. This is what I think is probably the way to go. There's just the best density here. There's a lot of stuff to do with rocket barrel, car. You can get to the llama temple with grape. There's a fairy in the Llama Temple. That's something. Yeah, Car Race is very easy to orphan because it's so far out of the way and has like a bunch of really weird requirements. You're not terribly likely to have all the stuff when you are when you can first access it, so like a lot of the time you just get the left behind. All right, so Drum's not getting the tiny metal either. He is a little bit short, I think. So I've lost a couple of seeds myself to orphaning that um, the uh, race car check there, so that's now in my immediately check <laughs> it the second that I am able to do so. Mini Monkey uh, is hinted, I must acquire this, but we know why Mini's needed. For one thing, it's needed for Tiny K rolls, so no surprises there. Does Aztec have the goods there? This is a great question. But that said, this is all interesting, well, but what I want to know is where's their next progression point? Where is Key 4? We've got Castle Surroundings for Rocket Barrel, Pineapple, Punch. One of those three things is bound to turn up E4. With only one hint for key 4 it's pretty likely it's not deeply locked. Um, so I think it's it's got to turn up soon. And because you don't have Chunky, Pineapple and Punch don't really seem to be all that important. Unless, well, there's another option, and that is Aztec Lanky gets you Chunky. I think you have access to every Lanky check in the game. Or every Lanky check in Aztec. You definitely have access to his metal. You have the matching game in the Llama Temple. You have his Five Door Temple. You can use Twirl to get the barrel over the Llama Temple's lava. You just did the Vulture. Yeah, you might just be getting chunky here. I feel like there's no way that you leave here without chunky. Right. But, like, is that why he came here for? I, 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 honestly, I don't think it matters. I think this is your best play anyway by density, but... 
It's gotta be lanky. It's gotta be chunky in here. Oh yeah, he could be in the lanky cage. That'd be pretty funny. All right, it's not this rocket barrel, so. Oh. Drum's still thinking forest, and I don't think he's wrong in thinking forest. I, you could do like a rocket barrel or a check or two here. Oh, you can make it night for the first time as well. This could turn up something interesting. Whether it be the Thornblind Barn or maybe the Owl Race. Hmm. We do know that Grape is Way of the Horde, and even though we do have one answer for it already, as well as another one on the... Uh, multiple answers for why Grape was Way of the Horde to oh, begin yeah. with, it, it's always worth full clearing your uh, checks in that one, uh, for those moves. There's a so little bit of... It's, yeah, there's a little bit of statistics at play there. It's If something is Way of the Horde, for one thing, it is inherently more likely to be way of the horde for something else if only a little bit more likely exactly you're playing numbers at that point the rafters doesn't turn up anything but it does turn up a fairy here so this isn't a plus one fairy for for drum this is out of logic without spring but who cares take your fairies and go heck yeah what is this logic you speak of it is merely a suggestion Tudor's enjoying one of the other worst fairies in the game, or one of the worst balloons in the game. This one sucks a lot. Try as he might, this claptrap is just absolutely giving him the heat. Not helping in the slightest. Wow, this is this is horrible. Oh my god, absolutely nothing is going right with this balloon. This is unbelievable. Hey, there we go, there we got it. Alright. And he should get the metal here, I think. Actually, he's gonna be one short. But he'll get it in like the llama temple or something. Oh yeah, understanding probability. So much of this rando is built on probability. Good old and, and good old Bayes. We love Bayes in, in randomizer land. Well done. A very easy bonus battle. Love that one. And Drum has at last acquired his guitar and taken taking it to Aztec. And he's three fairies deep and two doses zero fairies deep, so. We may... Well, it looks like our competitors might be slightly misaligned right now uh, in terms of who's ahead or not. It really doesn't matter because at any point, one of these players can make a horrible misplay and lose themselves like 10 to 15 minutes chasing something that they thought was the answer that turned out not to be the answer. Wow, so that sounds, it, you... this, this sounds deeply personal. Oh, you know, <laughs> it's not like I lost an hour or something to a run. Uh, anyway, oh, so no. <laughs> it's entirely possible that even if it looks like one person is ahead, that can swing at the drop of a hat. It really is. Because while, while Tudos may have a slight advantage right now in terms of Golden Banana Count, we can't forget that Drum has three of the five fairies that are necessary to do that check. So... The clear vial and BFI, what is that vial? Who and has... who is ahead right now, it's impossible to say. And then even further than that, right, Drum is now catching up on fairies while Tudos is doing, what, dumping CBs into a B-locker? So he'll be neck and, he'll be neck and neck momentarily. In, in no time. And <laughs> every race is a casino away from an upset. You never know what stuff is just gonna be unhinted and just fall into your lap off a cave's ditty medal or something ridiculous. Who accidentally gets the medal check, yeah. Yeah. You just never know. You never know! Nothing is certain until you're in go mode. So... Chunky's in the Llama Temple, I think. Something... something... he's gonna get... He's gonna pull out a, uh... Oh, he's gonna get Lanky's medal right here, I think. Okay, never mind. I lied. He's not in the Llama Temple, he's right there on that medal! Hello, Chunky, how are you? Oh, I love this from Trudos. He turns right around and goes straight into the Chunky Five Door Temple. This is like one of the pound for pound best loading zones in the game. It's got three checks in a pretty small area. And if you have pineapple, this is like always worth your time. It's so good. So good metal routing puts uh puts Chunky in a pretty good it has Tudos picking up Chunky in a pretty nice spot. I don't think it has metal in here too. There's a couple balloons. Well, get good progress towards the metal. Oh. 
Alright, well, he's also got... Oh! Oh, the good thing there's ammo in here, because you need more to progress. Woo! <laughs> Don't do that to me, Tudos. Oh my god. Don't do that to me. Twenty nans down, twenty to go. Should be pretty straightforward for Chunk and L. Although that's just something. Nothing particularly exciting. No specific reason to need it. But with Chunky, they are one step closer to uh, the Forest Funky, which is uh, got some uh, action on the the dirt by the Beanstalk. So Feather, a matter of time. Your days are numbered, bud. You're gonna show up. You're gonna show up real soon. I can't recall. Did we check out what was inside the pineapple cage on DK Isles? I don't think so. Ooh, and we got a Hello, potion. Earth. Ooh. Welcome to bonus day. I don't think anyone's looked at that yet. We haven't seen Key 4, so, like, there's minimal reason to go back there. Okay, at least it's the doable Fatty Barrel Bandit as opposed to the one that starts fast and only gets worse. These go fast? Yeah, they get... Oh, it's getting faster. I think it's getting faster. All right, turbo mode. Brr. He's too good. He's just too good. Clean. No problemos. Can't keep getting away with it. Nicely done. And he pulls vines. Oh my goodness. Oh. BFI is looking terrible. BFI is down tremendous. Those fairies and drums inventory are looking like a pile of trash. <laughs> they are looking foolish. Unless it's like a slam in there. I mean, Tudos has to be thinking that too. He's got to be like, there's no way I need that thing in BFI anymore. I, I, You'd be hard pressed to skip fairies you run into, but I don't think he's going to be actively seeking them out anymore. I feel like there are definitely enough incidental fairies that you're just going to run into them. The other thing to keep in mind is that because of the way, for those of you who aren't deeply familiar with the way that logic works in this game, the rules of, hit, of move distribution are such that you're required to have diving, vines, and barrel throwing before you enter level 4. So if that's the case, there are at least five fairies available to our players before they enter level four. So there is a reasonable uh, chance that the item inside BFI is still going to be uh, barrel throwing. Now, whether that's super important at the end of the day or not, I mean... Uh, whether that is it or not is a separate conversation. We know it's super important because we have a lanky phase for the boss. It, it, I, I, ca I cannot overstate how cataclysmic that Vines find is. That is, like, absolutely earth-shattering to the seed for a number of reasons. One, Vines is so important to Aztec accessibility. You need you logically need Vines or Rocket Barrel to get to the back of Aztec. Which means anything in the back of Aztec is logically locked by Rocket Barrel. Hey, you remember where we got Rocket Barrel? We got that in the castle surroundings. Which means, all of those keys could now be in the back of Aztec. Every single one of them. So, oh my. <laughs> it's getting busy back there. <laughs> we got vines in the back of Aztec? Uh-oh, that could be lead to a key. It's, it's a little less likely, right? Mind you, because it's only, like, only so much of it is going to be... You're only going to get a path that's so deep with so few hints, but... You have to keep in mind the back of Aztec for the rest of the seed. That's so crazy. I don't believe we saw Tudos go inside Lava Temple, so that could be a misplay. So I don't think he needs to that. anymore. I mean, what what could be? I mean, yeah, you could see more stuff in there, but he's also run straight to Castle, where he can get two more medals. The possible to, he can get Diddy's medal now, and he can get a uh, he can get Chunky's medal. He just got Chunky's medal, I think. Where's his last Where's his last five pack for Diddy? I think it's with Rocket Barrel, just like flying around. I drum right into the five door temple. Chunkies. Bang! There it is. Feather on Diddy's metal. Ugh. That is that is definitely a top, bottom five metal in the game, but it's done. That's all the tiny moves. That can send, that sends him straight to Forest Funky. Maybe we got barrels over there to make BFI even worse. <laughs> Oh wait, 
Wait, we totally do, because it's medals on the path to the Lanky K rule. So... And that's pointing to barrels. I'm, like, super confident that bean dirt, that's gonna, gonna be barrels right there. This is a... If you are a BFI enjoyer, if you're a fan of taking photos, this is now a disaster. And well... But not so fast. Two doses hedging his bets. If there is a slam on BFI, it would certainly be very nice to have. Alright, he is... Oh, he's pause buffering this fairy. This fairy, on God, is the single worst fairy to Kate take a photo of in the game. The fact that he got it in like two shots is a miracle. That thing is like absolutely atrocious, atrocious to take a photo of. It, it can like range in a huge area. It moves ridiculously fast, changes directions on a dime. That thing actively hates you. But it's definitely the worst fairy in the game. But he's got the technology. The simple hit the start button. I'm stealing that for sure. <laughs> That fairy sucks. Best case scenario is that it like gets caught in the the cage you open it in, and life is good. Quick metal check for Tudos. He's uh getting Tiny's metal here too, so that's pretty good. I don't think we saw we didn't see Tiny metal off of drone screen, so oh, oh and we got a potion on the worm. So now this is just interesting. The way that everything is peeling out right. The beanstalk area is crazy. Is there anything bean locked, maybe? Take a look. Look up, Tudos. Look up. It's barrels right there. The Great Fairy is in shambles. Or the Fairy Queen, rather. The Great Fairy is a different game. Wrong franchise. Apologies. We all know the, the Fairy Queen is superior to the Great Fairy. Alright, the bean is dead. But... The spirit of the bean lives on in the dirt and the bean check itself. <laughs> so if you're Tudos here, do you still go, do you still take the time to pick up fairies that are incidental, or do you just kind of say, I don't need any of this anymore? He's doing it. I think it's pretty reasonable. Um, I think it's very reasonable, actually. Um, yeah, because like if you find a slam on BFI, you're pretty happy with that. It's really good to find your first slam. Your second slam is a lot less value, so it's just kind of something you have to just keep in mind, I guess. All right, force metals not looking too hot. No real spice here. <laughs> but you know what is spice? Where is key four? The only thing we got for key four is castle surroundings, which we've established could be anywhere in the back of Aztec. It could be anything pineapple locked. It could be anything punch locked. It could be anything rocket barrel ro locked directly. This is getting crazy. Quick barrels check for Tudos. Love this. Oh! And it pays. It pays huge! What do we got here? That might be. Uh, if this, is, if this is hunky, he could just go back to the worm. <laughs> That's crazy! If it's triangle, that logically gives you the shed, but he's already seen the shed, so it's junk. If it's Gorilla Gone, you'll love to see Gorilla Gone, but it's not anything interesting. Or anything immediately interesting. Drum has finished clearing out Llama Temple, and, uh... Every, he's checked everything except for a uh, free Lanky item, and it was all kind of nothing. Alright, well, Girl Gone isn't too bad a pull, but nothing terribly exciting here. I think Tudos might be dumping to get in a factory. Did we see what number it was? Or did we see what level it was? Or we saw it. We, we know factory's four. I did not mark that. Whoops. I didn't see the cost on that, but that could be his just next play. He's got all his training moves, right? He's got vines, he's got barrels, he's got diving. He's chilling. Our first look at level four. Looks like he's checking the coconut cage while he's here, and he's gonna be like, oh snap. Alright, Tudos knows the factory cost, and Drum is getting his fifth fairy. We're gonna find out what's on BFI real quick. <laughs> is this actually any good? I think both of these plays were both correct at the end of the day, because uh, either way, you're gonna wind up doing this. So. Maybe. I actually don't know if you end up doing this. I think if you need a slam at the end of the day, you might do it. Or, like, before you head into level 5, you might do it. Or if you, like, know something is requires a slam, you might do this. But, like, until that point, 
This is kind of dookie. Alright, 25, so he dumped exactly to 25. And then ended up with 26. Drum, meanwhile, has 24 marked, plus a blueprint, so he can get into Factory 2 if he wants. He has to drop his one blueprint. What is this vial? Womp womp. Yep. Yep. Your odds were not incredible once barrels and vines turned up back to back, so that is a. Uh, could have been sniper, could have been a slam. There were options to make it not bad, but your odds were not good. And I did not see anything. Did not see anything in upper production. Oop, missed one in the drop down. It's always so annoying it, to miss one on the, the one drop down. That's... It's the one that's right at the top, so it's always the one that's, like, the easiest to miss and also the most annoying to go back for. Yeah. That's unfortunate. I gotta figure out a more consistent setup for that guy. It's super annoying. Chudos right. right here is playing his instrument so that he can see what that splat up there drops. The instrument radius goes beyond the walls. And he is blessed with not having to climb production another day. Well, okay, maybe. He's gotta check the Diddy Slam switch and the Chunky switch, but... Pretty good odds. Pretty good odds. He's not climbing production today, which is always a good time. There we go, one down. All right, he's got one more bullet to dodge, and he doesn't have to climb production ever. Do you believe to follow up on what uh, LaRock just said there, uh, we don't actually, this game is, because it's programmed in a cave, two of the checks that are inside production room don't actually require you to hit the slam for them to be visible. Tiny's and lanky switches at the bottom of factory of a production room don't require you to hit them to be able to pick them up. That's why we were able to see them right at the beginning. Judas, what are you doing? He's climbing production anyway. The Mad Lad! What is he doing? It, free colored banana... Got a free golden banana, some colored bananas, working towards those metals. Yeah, okay, it's great and all, but I hate it, so that means he's wrong. What is he doing? Oh my god. Unbelievable. This guy. Although, now that I think about it, he did see, like, nothing but GBs up here, so this is actually, like, pretty good density. <laughs> Maybe he doesn't fall off, but he's a pro. He's got Warp 4. All good. There's Drum's Feathers, and he's off to Forest Funky. He's off to the Worm. So he gets to do Tiny's Metal Check, which is Rainbow Coin, which is acceptable. It's a, yeah, not too bad. I think they're loaded on coins now at this point. I don't think they're too worried about that anymore. Oh, another Blinky Balloon Incident. All good. 95 for level 4 boss? That seems kind of low. Okay, maybe this is... Okay. All right, dude. I see you. This is a pretty good boy. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. You got me. Altudos is dumping colored bananas. Just like to remind everyone that you're watching season two winners bracket of DK64Randomizer.com. If any of this interests you, or you have any questions, or would like to participate in the community or play, just to check out DK64Randomizer.com. This could be, in he might be hunting for Hunky Chunky information. That's a possibility. Because if you think maybe the potion in, in the worm area is needed, then that's something of interest at least. Hmm. Hard to say though. You've got everything you need for two of your phases of K Rule. Like, that's gotta feel great. <laughs> I mean, and pretty good odds that it's gonna be DK now, but not, not necessarily given. Hard to say. Hmm. Oh, you know what? Man, I mentioned this like actually an hour ago. We have a hint for testing the key five. It is possible. Oh, wait, hang on. Pause. Judos is trying to kick slide up that pipe. It's really hard for a GB. Not worth it. See ya. Good try, good try. Um, anyway. Testing is on the path to key 5. It's very possible that testing just spits out key 5, which would give them a whole bunch more info on the seed. <laughs> That's 10 more hints. They would love to see that. Oh! Speaking of, love to see that. You love to see coconut. 
You need, they need that. They know they need that. That's that a big up, pull. That opens up a good chunk of the game right there. It opens up a good chunk of the game, and it takes them back to Aztec, where DK's five door temple is hinted. However, we don't know where DK is. Where is DK? Judo's calculating. Do I actually need this? Do I actually need this? He decides he does need these nans. And also the health pickup from taking damage from before. Oh, oh. Definitely the most important thing. Another rainbow coin for his troubles. All right, yeah, he's not thinking about coins ever again. He's fine. Now look at that, 35 coins for Chunky. Load it up. Is he trying to skip going to R&D? Because if you do this, you don't have to fall down to the Power Hut via R&D. You might be thinking R&D is just terrible, so he's trying to get to the Power Hut without having to go up. Oh! Wow, the, 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 banana the Fairy Queen is looking worse and worse by the second as he pulls a slam off a factory metal. Wow. That is just sweat off. Just slams a thing of the, a problem of the past. You're chilling. If you have a surprise chunky phase, you're in pretty good shape. All you really need is hunky chunky and pretty good odds you might just get that hinted. So, Larak, I have a question for you in terms of strategy right here. Normally, at this point in Factory, there's a fork in the road that leads to two different dead ends. You either wind up here in DK Arcade Room, or you wind up inside the two shops area. Which one do you go to first? Hmm. I like the shops first. I think it's easier to get out of the shops, and then you come to the arcade. Although it does depend. As with everything in Randomizer, you know, situations vary, right? Maybe you need the coins for Tiny in the, the, uh, the, the pole room or something. I don't know. Whoa, wait a minute, we got key four? Whoa, we got, okay, whoa, 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 Drum just got some crazy stuff. Drum just pulled key four out of forest and then spring off a metal. Oh my goodness, we were, we were gushing over factory and then suddenly, suddenly key four out of nowhere. What was that on? That was in, that was in face shooting. Oh my. So that wow. means that a rank stand is, oh wait, no, that's chunky face shooting. Wow. And it was pineapple in castle surroundings to face shooting. T4. It makes perfect sense. That's big. Tudos might need that directly hinted before he goes back to forest. Why would he go back to forest? It's crazy. I don't see a world where he would think to do that. He did one of the lanky rooms. So, like, he would be going back to the top of the mushroom for the rocket barrel barrel, which he didn't peek for some reason. I don't know if Drum did. Um, The... The, the the lanky room that traps you, the mushroom slam, and chunky face shooting. Oh, wow. That's a tough sell. He's going to have to do that before he gets key 4 though. And key 4 might be good. Might be good. We, we might be about to get some more hints here. The real gone for drum. He's he's in the cruise control. He's really, He really needs to capitalize on this key 4 advantage. Take the info and get the heck out of here. Ooh, great point. Great point, Sniper. And Etiquette, whoever pointed that out. We saw Donkey on the boss door to Factory, and as we talked about before, you are able to beat the boss with things from this level and before, which means DK is not in level 5. So, he is definitely not in level 5. Nor do you need anything from level 5 to get him. So, Key 4 is not going to get your DK, so that is pretty good news for Tudos, but it's very dangerous. All right, trading keys, key five. Although that said, that key five is much easier to get than the key four. We got Japes as level five. Ooh. Oh, the, the Japes with two foolish areas. But what do we got for hints? This is gonna be big. This information could propel drum forward in the seat so hard. Let's see what we got. Castle Metals to Key 8, which is just Feather. But that, could also be, that could also be Barrels? Although Feather got you... Yeah, Feather got you Barrels, right? So, And then Barrels got you Gorilla Gone. Oh, there's Krem. Okay. That is your Gorilla Gone. Yeah, so Feather to Barrels to Gorilla Gone. So those two hints kind of tell you the same thing, which is a little unfortunate. Aztec Chunky 5 or Tempo, we knew that. That's where we got uh, Vines, which we know we need. 
So nothing particularly impressive out of this out of this these hints yet. Donkey's held by a Kasplatin factory. Tudos is about to find Donkey Kong. Oh my That's goodness. That's a big find. He's got one to go, and he's going to be so happy to see that. And then storage to Chunky. A surprise Chunky K rule. Oh my goodness, that slam. Oh my goodness. No way. And storage just pulled coconut, so you might get Hunky Chunky in DK Fiber Temple. Oh my. Those For those of you who are those less hints? experienced and are watching Larak go through about 20 different strings of logic right now to make all uh, a lot of sense of it, you're not necessarily expected to immediately make all of those leaps that he's making. Larak has a very intimate knowledge of how the logic is written because he wrote the logic. So it, there's it also a little helps. bit of bias on that front. It, it also helps to have infinite game knowledge and a full spreadsheet of everything, of all the notes there. He left R&D! Oh my god, we were talking about it earlier. He didn't go to the Power Hut? He went to, he tried to, he he went up to the Power Hut platform, trying to skip R&D, and he's skipping R&D. He's committing to the bit. He's leaving Donkey Trapped in R&D! He needs, he needs, he needs a hint so badly to tell him to go back to R&D. He needs it so badly. Drum has just found Oh, and there it is. Oh my found. goodness. He just got told to go right back to R&D. <laughs> Turn your butt around, Buster. You need that real bad. <laughs> What did Drum pull? He pulled uh, a GB under the roof dirt, and nothing on the summit, I don't think. He looked at summit, and he found uh, the rocket barrel uh, helm gin. Oh, oh no. <laughs> yeah, that got him nowhere fast. It was for a golden banana regardless, so right. it was nothing, but it was still like, oh, that's a disappointment to see. Yeah, not a total disaster. I stuck donkey medals on the way of the horde. Oh, that's new info. We haven't seen that yet. All right, he's turning straight around to factory. I would be shocked if he didn't. Tiny donkey chunky. Bang, so we need sacks, bongos, and triangle. Okay, so we do need the triangle and bongos, actually, so. And unfortunately, Tiny's room is first, so any information in Helm will be a little bit delayed. Rocket Barrel hint. Any help? Castle Surroundings Key 7. That is a second Castle Surroundings to Key 7. Interesting. That could be the back of Aztec again. Or that could be, like, vines off of... Vines off the back of Aztec because pineapple was used in the back to get vines. So possibly vines to key seven, possibly something feather, maybe like Tiny's five door temple to key seven. It's a bit of a reach. Oh no, no, not, no, 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 not that. Oh gosh. Could be vases. Aztec is looking pretty good for key seven, but it's a little bit tricky. Yeah, you needed pineapple and, or yeah, you needed pineapple and rocket barrel for vines. So Vines is a prime contender for Key 7, maybe the training ground dirt that nobody has checked yet? Ooh. One of the most orphaned dirt patches in the entire game. That is a uh, disaster waiting to happen. Man, I hate forgetting about that thing. It always feels terrible when anything's on there, and I forgot about it for, like, anything more than, like, instantly. <laughs> if I forgot instantly, it's, it's so bad. So it's a third foolish area for James, which is looking pretty bad for anyone who likes that level. And now Tudos gets his information on Chunky K. Roll. He's like, uh-oh, I gotta do Chunky K. Roll, but he hasn't pulled anything out of the tunnels yet, so this information is probably a little bit better than the storage hint. We also do now know that the, why that slam was way of the horde, or at least a resolution for why the slam was way of the horde for the Chunky phase. All right, Forest Chops to Key 8, that's only diving. It could be a diving minigame in Helm, which would be a uh, pretty bad hint, but that would be unlucky. Alright, well, Aztec isn't that good. The hubs are dead. Actually, wait, that might actually be good, because that kills, like, the beetle race. And then Outer Isles, which is not much, so... Oh, that kills, uh... Pound the X, but that's about it. Nothing really exciting there. Rip. That's a pretty bad foolish, actually. That's kind of interesting. You don't usually see regions that small get hinted foolish, but that's all right. You can go into Galleon if you want, but there's nothing hinted in Galleon. All your action, all your action is in Forest, Castle, Aztec, and Factory. <laughs> if anything ends up in... We have the full suite of hints, I think, in front of us. Yeah, we've got our Key 2 hint, 1 Key 4 hint, 1 Key 5 hint, 2 Key 7 hints, 5 Key 8 hints, 5K rule hints, 7 foolishes. We are missing a one way of the Horde. I think it is the Featherlock hint in Aztec.
All right, yeah, and sure enough, two doses turning straight around, going back to get donkey. <laughs> I honestly agree with Tudos' strategy right here of grinding out the hints before he goes back to get uh, the splat that has Donkey. He actually doesn't know it's Donkey here. He just knows it's way the Horde and is like, okay, I may as well go get it. But he's going to pull Donkey and he's going to be like, oh my god. <laughs> do you feel like it's, um, when you have the ability to get hints, do you feel like you should prioritize going to get those before anything else? It kind of depends. I like finishing my route through a level and then like, okay, let's go get more info. But, like, I'm not going to stop the middle of my trip to go the middle of my trip through a level because it's, like, a little inefficient to do so usually. And the hints are, like, very good information, but it's not, like, mandatory a lot of the time. And then some seeds, you just have so much stuff and so much info that you actually don't need to check your hints at all and you just go. Yeah, I've been, I've been talking to some people who were trying to get better or trying to improve their times, and I, they tend to orphan hints a lot. And so I've been encouraging them to just take the time and go, like, once you finish your route through a level, just be like, all right, before I do anything else, immediately get my hints. Absolutely. If I have any amount of uncertainty, I'm checking anything I can. I'm, I'm checking all my hints. Any amount of uncertainty, because the hints just narrow things down so much, more, so much, good, so much better. This is interesting. We have storage on the path to Chunky K rule and tunnels on the path to Chunky K rule. And we just pulled coconut. Is it possible the coconut Kasplat is actually our our winner? The uh, the sandy bridge Kasplat. Oh, Dudos is getting the last hint. I believe this is a way of the horde. So let's see what we got here. And if Tudos is doing if Tudos is doing what I think he's doing, he's gonna clear out his two for chunky face puzzle. That's huge! Dad just told him where key four is. That's so good for Tudos. Oh my god. I think he's going to Aztec right now to clear out his two donkey way of the horde hints. Agree. I think that's always a lot of very sense. good. He's gonna clear out the tunnels the be as best he can, which I think he can do almost everything in. Yeah, he's gonna do vases, he's gonna do Sandy Bridge, he can even do the Quicksand Cave out of Logic. And he, I think I, that's in Logic because he has the access to Ponytail Twirl. Uh, the Sandy Bridge is in Logic, yes. The um, the Quicksand Cave is not without Strong Kong. Right, my apologies. Yeah. I'm talking too fast. I'm uh, <laughs> we're, we're just flying at a million miles an hour. This seed is is just turned up and just worked out in Tudos' favor, I think. I think he's ma he's going to maintain his lead here as he chases the next information, and Drum is just kind of playing catch-up. He's pulling his coconut here, which is great for him, but... His key four advantage has just immediately gone out the window as Tudos has just been told directly where key four is. And then there's a question of, do you even need key four for anything? We know it's Japes, and Japes is crazy foolish. Like, <laughs> what's in there, anyway? <laughs> All right, pretty good odds. This Kasplat right here has Hunky Chunky, and Tudos is going to be extremely happy. Now, he doesn't actually know that because he doesn't have the storage coconut hint to, to, hunk, to Chunky K. Rule, but pretty good odds. Cough it up. Give me your green vial, bud. Bam. Bang! So that means that I think that the play right after clearing this out is to immediately go do the worm in forest, right? Hmm, that's very tempting. A known vial, and you don't know. You're looking for bongos and triangle. What do you think about? Hmm. All right. So you have you are two dos. You have three Morgan. way of the hordes unresolved. You are missing five things. Or no, four things. You're missing two keys and two instruments. And with three-way the hordes, you're just kind of hoping that it just falls into place. That leaves one thing remaining. Oh, alright, there's Triangle. That's one of his way of the hordes. We know we need that. Oh yeah, he's going into shops now. He's like, oh my god, I gotta buy every single GB I can because I'm gonna be in go mode so quickly. I think he might be in a key seven hunt because I think it's pretty. So we know face shooting is key four. So that is a that is a solved hint that we know of. Donkey five door temple. It's kind of angling like this is gonna be bongos. I think. Oh, I'm not sure on this one. This could be key seven. 
just looking for GBs, I think. Yeah, he's he sells out, he sees a blueprint and is like, alright, good enough, give me that. <laughs> uh level seven was not terribly expensive, I don't believe. Galleon was 37. So level seven is caves, that could be anywhere between 37 and 60. Wide range, so decent odds. It's relatively accessible soon, even with a dump. But we have nothing hinted in caves. I would not be surprised if they just never go into Japes, Galleon, or Caves. There's just there's just nothing there for them. If anything is there, it's probably a complete disaster, or hopefully hinted. You say that, the number of times that I've seen, I've both been in seeds or played, or uh, watched people play races where there's just a zone that has, or a level that has exactly one item hidden on a shop. Actually, it's uh, staggering. Oh, this is key seven! This is so good for Tudos. He's gonna go straight to his last way, the horde, get key four, and then he's in GB mode because he can get the, the bongos hint in helm. So he is just gonna be rocketing to the end of the game now. He's racing to 60 now. Fortunately for Drum, Drum also pulled a slam out of factory, so he is gonna be big chilling there. He needs to, to go get key five out of testing. He doesn't know it yet, but he's in a race against time because Tudos is on a mission to finish this scene as fast as he can right now. He's racing straight to 60. He's gonna say, screw everything, just just go, just go, just go. Because, all right, well, Tudos is in a bit of, he's gonna be in a bit of a rush because he knows there's information awaiting him in Helm that will help. But, we might be able to piece this one together. We've got on our path to Key 8, which will contain bongos, we've got Castle Shops for Grape. What has Grape gotten us? Grape got us to the Ant Hill, which got us Guitar, which got us to the back of Aztec, which got us, like, a ton of things. So, yeah, that's needed. We know why that's needed. Castle Metals got us Feather. Or, yeah, Castle Metals got us Feather, which got us... Barrels, I think? Where's Barrels again? Barrels was... A moment of silence for our friend Tudos, who was just immediately obliterated and yeeted off the edge of the top of the mushroom. <laughs> the zingers strike back. I was so lost in the sauce that I missed it. Oh, man, I'm so sad. That's a DK64 moment right there, for sure. Alright, so Feather to Key 8. Feather got you into the forest area. We've got Barrels. And Barrels got you... <laughs> Barrel's gotten him anything. Bean dirt, right? Yeah, bean dirt in the, the horse funky area. Have we seen anything on barrels yet? What if it's only like on a boss or something? Barrel's got Gorillagon from Crime Isle. Yep, so that's good. Uh, Crime Isle hint is to Gorillagon. That's solved. Diving is, I think, solved because diving got you... something. There's his key four. Key five for drum, rivaling it. Here we go. Step on the gas. Judo's has all his keys. Fast checks. Let's go. Uh, so diving got... What, what did diving get him to key 8? Diving got them... Something in Tiny Temple, right? Mini Monkey and Tiny Temple? Which got them into the Ant Hill, which got them guitar. So yeah, that's on that route too. And then Castle Surroundings got them like a billion things. Let's just say Rock and Barrel to get you into the back of Aztec. So I think all their key 8 hints are solved, so I think this bongos is just like unhinted, so you're just gonna have to live with that. And take the... If, if he mats it out, which is a little tricky, it's certainly not easy to do this. He's probably gonna come to the conclusion that I just need 60 GBs and I'm gonna get my bongos hint in helm. It's a very interesting sequence all the way down. For sure. DK for drums, so he's not too far behind now. He just needs to go get his more, further information out of the Galleon and Caves lobbies, and he's going to be like, okay, time to go. Oh yeah, well, we have all the hints in front of us because we got everything. Uh, they don't, so Tudos is now reading some more hints. And now knows that Japes is here. He might even go into Japes, just get GBs. I think that's a great idea. Especially if you're just, yeah, just grinding out GBs at this point. It's the freest place to get, like, five GBs. Tudos has nine blueprints marked, so this puts him at 51. So he should be able to get 60 coming out. He, he could probably get 60 coming out of this. Oh, but Drum remembered this clear vial. I don't think Tudos did. 
What's here? Is this the third instrument upgrade? That'd be kind of a disaster. Oranges. Interesting. I that could be a disaster, because that is a move that is on uh, Krem Isle that could... I mean, it's probably not going to be the thing that points to Pat to Key 8, but it right. does technically fit the zone where you get something from. It's not likely, but it is possible. It's, it's always possible. Drum getting his last hint, and then he's got DK moves. I think he's coming into Aztec to clear out his, his two-way of the hordes he doesn't have yet. So he's playing catch-up, but if he's just getting GBs while playing catch-up, he's in good shape. This is this is far from over. A race to 60 is on. Unless there's just a world where Drum just finds bongos in the back of Aztec. And if he finds bongos, he just like gains like several minutes on two dose. I don't think it's gonna be in Japes. It might be, but I don't think it will be. <laughs> well, I say I don't think it will be, but I have no idea where it is. Like, <laughs> what do I know? <laughs> What if it's on the worm? Nobody's checked the worm yet. Oh my god. Oh no, Drum, we where are you going? Have, we also have the llama. Drum ran straight by the sandy tunnel that has his hunky chunky. I don't believe he's gotten this way of the horde yet as well, so that's an easy resolution for him. Oh, well, it's not a way of the horde, it's a path. He needs a. He, it's a path. It's a. Tunnels are on the path to yeah. Chunky K rule, so that'll help him out. I think... No, 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 I'm saying Donkey Kong Five Door Temple is way of the horde. So right, he might right. be going after that one. Yeah, he hasn't got this, but the, this isn't tunnels, so something in the tunnels is needed, and he hasn't quite pieced that together that, hey, I should turn around. I got storage for coconut, and then tunnels as my hunky. But he pulls his key seven, so he's got all his keys too. I don't think he's. Has he gone into level six and seven yet? I don't think he has. I don't think he's got those hints yet. Meanwhile, Tudos is hard committing to Japes, as Japes' is, underground is foolish. The caves and mines are straight foolish, and Tudos is choosing to clear them out. That tells me, in, in his mind, he's thinking, 60 or bust. Time to go. And Drum leaves Aztec without Hunky Chunky. But he's getting more hints. So he's got the, he's got the most important hint coming up, which is the tunnels on the path of Chunky K. Rule. That will bail him out if he finds Hunky. He also left without DK's medal, but I think that hint is also coming, so he's not totally out of the woods yet. Or he's not he's not totally lost yet. Help is on the way. I believe that Donkey is also the first Kong in our sequence for Helm, so entering it and leaving to get the confirmation on where that move is costs next to no time. I think uh, it's actually the second room by my marking. I have tiny donkey chunky. I think the hint is right here. Let's read it again. Ah, uh, my apologies. Tiny, tiny donkey chunky. All right, we're good. Okay, so that's that's still a minute or two of, yeah. I hesitate to say a loss, but a sink in order to get a right. direct hint. It's unfortunate, but it's not a tragedy if it's at the third room. The third room is where it, you really start to feel the time. The first, if it's in the first room, it's almost like no time saved if you randomly find bongos. If it's in the second room, you definitely save a good minute or two. Well, I don't know. You probably save like a minute or two if it's in the first room, and maybe like three to four if it's in the second room. It kind of depends on where it is, too. If it's in like somewhere that's like hard to get, oh my goodness, this Japes. This Japes is just loaded up with GBs. Tudos is salivating. He just hit 50 GBs. And he has nine blueprints marked. He is at 59. Do you go back to the shop? No, shops are foolish. Stormy Tunnel's foolish. He's got 60. Get out of here. Get out of here. He may have dumped at some point. I'm not sure if the tracking is 100%. So he, he might have a better idea than we do, but he's very, very close. <laughs> wow, this Japes is actually incredible for GBs. He just... Basically, he just ran into GB after GB after GB, just machine gunning them, two in the underground, two in the hillside. Loaded up the shop. Here's another blueprint. Why not? My bonus barrels are not worth your time. Go, go, go. But just make sure you don't miss bongos. <laughs> if you miss bongos and japes, that would be very awkward. The shop is foolish, so it's not going to be here, but here we go. Drum turning right around. He's headed towards his hunky chunky. He's going to be very happy to see this. He's also running towards Please. donkey bananas. Thank you. And he's got it. That's easy. 
Nice shooting. There we go. Tudu is buying up to a lot. He's he's just gonna be dumping into helm in a minute. So just as a reminder, since we are here in Aztec, we do know that the llama has a potion, and we started with rocket barrels. So that could just be one of the things that we need. Great point, actually. We do know he has a potion. I also forgot about that. Llama's got a potion up his butt. What if it's there? What if that's Bongo's? That's what Drum needs. He needs that. He needs, he needs to find Bongo's on his own. And we have two possibilities. It could be, it could be on the llama. It could be. Oh, you know what? Actually, great point. Dad makes a great point. The hubs are foolish. That that potion's junk. That potion is straight junk. Oh snap! It is. Yeah. Yo, Niamek. Thanks for the raid. Another, another great donker among us. Enjoy the race. Tudos is dumping his GBs. He's going in Helm. He needs the Bongo's hint. Here we go. He's nearby, this coconut cage. Does he remember that oranges is right next to him? <laughs> Do you even stop for oranges? <laughs> I would. I absolutely would. It's 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 a nice it's a nice hedge. Drum is now committing to Japes. He's in 60 and go. He has 42 GBs tracked plus six blueprints tracked. So he's at 48, but Tudos was in a pretty similar situation coming into Japes and he got to 60 easily. So I think Drum is going to be, he's going to be chasing Tudos in Helm, I think. But unfortunately he picked the same level as Tudos and because Tudos didn't find Bongos, he's not going to find Bongos here either. So no new information, but it still does get him to 60 uh, golden bananas at the end of the day. All right. roads lead to Rome, after all. I think objectively this is the correct decision, but if you think you're behind, you might take a gamble on an unorthodox level. Like, what if you went into caves? Like, you could check the cave shops, not foolish, and just maybe find bongos. That would be insane. Although, if it's just there, then you probably don't save too much time because, well, well you save time and not having to do helm, but it, your hint would say bot in caves and you would just run straight there. Oh, there's a violent helm lobby. Hello, turn around, bud. Go on. <laughs> you gonna, You gonna go for it? Oh, he's not turned around. No, no. He's going for the sure thing. Please. I think this is totally fine. You're like, this is like a... I disagree. <sighs> okay, I think it's actually fine for a couple reasons. One, it has to be exactly there for it to be good. And what is the opportunity cost? Two helmet, two random bonus barrels versus one bonus barrel. It's not that dramatic. If you do two bonus barrels, you get the information and can, like, kill this one bonus barrel. Welcome or you confirm it's there and lose a bit of time, but you're like... Gucci. I think this is a reasonable... A measured... A, a calculated... Gamble. And Take Schwartz Gandhi does bring up a good point. This does satisfy diving <laughs> being on the path to Key 8. <laughs> I think it already was from the, uh, the Mini Monkey Pulling Tiny Temple. Which led to, oh gosh, a huge chain of events. Guitar. Yeah, guitar is the big thing. Yeah, we know where so many vials are. Like, <laughs> the worm has something. The uh, Elm Lobby has something. The Llama has something, although the Llama one is garbage. So we can discount that one pretty easily. Kudos has to get through this Helm minigame, and he will have Bongo's information, and he is cruising. All right, we have the opportunity now to concoct the worst possible hint for him. It's got to be like, oh gosh, what would be a total disaster? Uh, uh, Diddy and Aztec would be not great. Actually, Diddy and Aztec might be a complete disaster. <laughs> Diddy Caves is okay. You can get away with you can get away without peanut a lot of the time. Caves Tiny is fine. You got everything. The problem is that we know of the areas that haven't been explored, so many of them are dead, it's hard to kind of concoct something. Oh, I missed that. What was it? 
a dirt patch in Crystal Caves. It is on Kosha Dirt. Wow. No way. I was thinking to myself, whoa, wow, man, what would be the odds if we have to go to caves and do the dirt <laughs> patch? There's no, but like, we have all the moves. It's just an annoying time sink. All right. If I'm it turns if out it was... Yeah. Turns out it was that. If I'm Tudos, I'm super happy to see that hint because I know that absolutely no one in this galaxy will randomly find that. Everyone in this, everyone who plays the seed is going to Helm for that hint. So it means you didn't waste time doing Helm. Like, everyone in this entire galaxy is, nobody is finding this naturally. <laughs> Especially because there's no reason to ever go into caves otherwise. Oh my god. Yeah, like, how are you supposed to pull this otherwise? Like, you you read, like, surroundings for punch instead of rocket barrel, which also satisfies it? Like, ugh. Do you have a Terminator eye that can just, like, read code, like, intrinsically in front of you? Where's that's about the only thing that I can possibly think of that would give you an inclination that that's how you get there faster. Yeah, no. Nobody's finding this naturally, so Tudos has got to be, like, really happy to see that. <laughs> And uh, it kind of goes back to what I was saying before. If you just gamble on a crazy level and win, then, like, you could save a whole pile of time. Like, imagine if Drum was in caves already. He's clear enough to 60. Like, if he's at, if he were at 60 by now, he's at 53 marked with seven blueprints marked. So I think he's at 60. Or very close to it. He may, the, the blueprint count may not be accurate depending on how much he dumped. If he just, like, picked caves instead to clear up, he could have randomly found this. This was unlikely, but he could have. He has all the stuff for it. He could have chosen to do this, and if he had, he could maybe be leaving, like, right about now with 60, and his, and his bongos, which would be crazy. <laughs> As opposed to going into japes with basically nothing. Like, a, a foolish underground, a foolish shops, foolish stormy tunnel. Your japes is not looking like it's gonna have bongos. You're kind of, like, hedging against it. But sure enough, Tudos walks out of caves with Bongo Blast. He's flying. As drum hits 60 and goes to helm. Right. Like, if you're trying to be the fastest to 60, objectively, Japes is probably your best play. But if you're trying to take a gamble and, like, all right, maybe I'm behind here. I don't know. Maybe you think, may, for whatever reason, if you think maybe you, like, missed something and you need to just gamble on something, where you clear to 60 is, that's a gamble, right? You gamble on if you're missing something. We will never know what vial that is in Helm Lobby. Actually, Drum might see it. Drum might see it might be tempted. I think... The, Absolutely tragic that we're ignoring that. <laughs> I think the calculated, measured play is to ignore it and get the guaranteed, the sure thing in Helm, but... Wow. That's crazy. Alright, can they get surprised by a Diddy K. Rule? No, they actually can't, because they know it's tiny, lanky, chunky. So, no surprises on K. Rule here. Welcome to bonus stage. Kudos is just trucking his way through Helm. It's time. Kudos is fighting the uh, worst enemy in this game, 3D Swimming. Well, second highest worst enemy as opposed to um, the fairy hit detection. Yeah. Fixed angle swimming. This is a, a... This was certainly a decision made. Certainly a decision. <laughs> it was a period where every single game needed to have... Every single 3D game needed to have underwater uh, section to prove that they were three-dimensional. And uh, I'm glad that we don't do that anymore. That we've moved as a species. We have evolved past that point. We are truly enlightened. And better for it. Life is good. Life is good. Only the coins were actually 3D models. Yeah, you might be able to see, you might be able to actually get some depth perception on them if they weren't just 2D sprites. But hey, you know what? The game chugs on its own if, uh, if, um, if it needs to be sprites to make the game lag less, then you know what? So be it. You got me. 
I'll take it. So I think uh Lunatic or Lunade? Lunatic has the actual best answer on what the worst hint would have been, which was Forest Barrel Blast. <laughs> <laughs> that would have been funny. <laughs> I, I think Absolutely they, I... tragic if it had just said, oh, it's in Forest with Donkey Kong. Checks in Forest still. I don't think anyone... Welcome mm. to bonus I'm not sure they checked it. I don't, yeah, I don't think anyone went back to Forest with DK. You kind of had everything you needed at that point in Forest. The only thing that they went back to in Forest was um, was Chunky uh, Face Puzzle. Right. Yeah, and that's the way the Horde, you're not doing anything else. <laughs> you're gone. Welcome to bonus stage. So what's also interesting is that there's no... Of the moves that all of these uh, of our racers have, there's no minigame that can be appear in Helm that would be, lo would be locked behind a move that they don't have already. Like, it's yeah. not going to be the Diddy Rocket Barrel game because Diddy's not part of the Helm order. It's not going to be... Um, if it's the sprint cage uh, race, the, or if it's a sprint race, then you don't actually need sprint to do that. Everything is there already. So this, is, this has to be the comfiest Helm Tudos has ever done. He's absolutely. running. He's running through Helm with full confidence that absolutely no one in this universe would ever do Helm without getting the bongos in. So he's like, all right, I'm, I got what I got. Just got to play it out. Nothing. No Helm games to trip him up. No K rule surprises. Go time. Lock in. Drum right behind him, going to get his bongos right now. It's gonna be about a Drum's hell. only about ten minutes or five or ten minutes behind Tudos, which is all things considered in a season two race, pretty damn close. That's really close. That's the difference between like a, a couple decisions. Um, question is, what were those decisions? I gotta what kind of decisions were made. I think the finding, or I think Tudos, I think Tudos chased his hints better. He or he. He settled on Factory before Drum did, and then the information gained out of Factory, both Key 5 and... Well, then, yeah, the information he got out of Key 5 was so crucial to solving the rest of the seed that it propelled him forward. It was a moment of, I can progress, so I just should and get more information in future levels. And I think that's where, generally speaking, propelled him first forward first. I'm not sure that the time spent getting fairies was significant. That's just like a little bit of a little bit of time invested. That's maybe like a minute or two. That's probably not the That's a minute thing. or two max. Yeah. yeah, and even then I still without the outer aisles being dead hint, it's still worth. Yeah, you um, can you can chalk it up to other other yeah. random things that like Tudos did that weren't needed for whatever reason. Whether it be like cho choosing to go to like some random metal or something, you know. It's it's a play, right? You, you take you take you shoot your shot, and it was just kind of unfortunate that, that barrels and <laughs> vines turned up back to back to basically turn BFI into total trash, and then the slam turned up in factory anyway. Like it was it was just a whole sequence of events. At that point, the best thing it could have been was sniper, which just goes to show you how low the bar was. Or like super duper, and then like Lanky and Castle. Actually, that probably Lanky and Caves might have been the worst thing they could have seen. Off for the bongos hint because they might need yeah, sprint. actually they yeah. might need super duper <laughs> that could have been real bad although could have been bad it again likely wasn't because you could do most of the stuff but not all of it and that's the scary part <laughs> that's the scary part yeah. Tudos uh played his outs and uh charged towards information hints and I think it, re it re certainly rewarded him in the seed. Any anything he skipped was he was hinted straight back to. And Drum had a similar situation, right? He just ran right by Hunky Chunky, but then he correctly read the tunnels hint. And was like, oh shit, I gotta, I gotta turn around. I'm gonna go scoop that up. Lanky K rule. All right, Tudos knows the patterns on this, right? I don't, so. Yeehaw. Look at that perfect slip. Frame one. Boom. Got him. He's in the bin. Frame perfect. Well, maybe not frame perfect, but frame one. I know. <laughs> and, oh, wait. Oh, okay. Wait a minute. He's, he's cooking. He's cooking. 
the knowledge one gains by previously being a world record holder in this game. So that's going to resolve Lanky Phase right there. Pretty clean one, I'd say close to optimal, all things considered. No problem at all. About as good as you can hope for. At least about as good as I can hope for. I'm not getting better than that, that's for sure. <laughs> the fact that he completed it already means he's better than I am at this game. is on track for quite the good time here. I think, depending on how long Tiny Phase takes, I think it's going to be about a 149 or so. That's great pace. That's real good pace. Anything under 150, and you gotta be happy. You can't be unhappy with that. If I saw a time like that, if I if if I could take a sub 150 in every single race I did from now until the end of time, I'd do that. And I don't even think twice. That sounds amazing. Like <laughs> that that the level of consistently getting that time is what you need to progress further in this tournament. And Tudos is he's got the sauce. Now is he gonna go for style points? Oh, does he do the backflip? All important backflip. He's got to do it. I didn't Very do it. And it brought great shame upon my family. He does the back one. Yes! The mad lad. Man of the people. One phase to go, tiny. Here we go. So it's about two minutes for a tiny phase. Looking like a sub 150. Pretty good. So as we hit the tail end of this run, just to remind everyone that you are watching uh, week two of the winner bracket for season two of the DK64 Randomizer uh, game. If you enjoy what you're watching or have any questions or would like to join this community or play, uh, go check out DK64Randomizer.com. We got, a, we got a heck of a tournament coming on. We got another match on stream tomorrow. It's me. I'm on the stream. Woo. I'm playing. Behind the sticks, not the mic. I will be playing Emerson tomorrow in a another great matchup. He is very fast. Yeah, I think I think I'm pretty quick too, so. <laughs> Camerson is very good. Camerson, uh all oh. Lorak, you're great at this. Don't oh, get me mistaken. Oh, yeah. Let's be clear, I'm great. Yeah. You say yeah, that again. Exactly. <laughs> uh, Camerson's a sleeper, though, because they cut their teeth on just miserable uh, settings. So <laughs> anytime that they play anything that's, like, humane or with the shred of decency in it, they do pretty well for themselves. Every time that I drag them over to uh, race me in NSAC, or No Style Keys, that preset, they're always like, oh yeah, I had a great time. I finished in second place. I should play more fun settings more often. <laughs> As opposed to, oh no. <laughs> As opposed to just like discovering new versions of hell mode. Fascinating. Truly fascinating. Uh, before we get to the end right here, because we're almost there, I also want to give a quick shout out to the music uh, creators for DK64 Randomizer. We didn't really get a chance to talk about that a lot this season because it was just jet after jet after jet. But there's a very active uh, community uh, making music for this game. A lot of the custom songs that you heard, uh, some of them were my creation or my transposition. Some of them were original songs from other people. It's a really great group of people who are working on music. Very welcoming community. You don't even really have to know how to make midis in order to be a part of it. We will teach you. All the guides are available. And on that note, Tudos has just won the race with the time of 1 hour, 49 minutes, and 48 seconds. Alrighty. That's a wrap. What a... Great showing from Dudos. It was very quick. Very, very quick. And we got him on the mic ready to roll. Let us pull him in. Oh, well.
He can just march right in himself, I suppose. He's the man. The, he's the boss man himself. Tudos, welcome to the, welcome to the show. Congrats on first place, GG. My team performed am admirably today. Yeah. They all did their part. <laughs> they all walked around. They got their gold medals as fast as they could. DK, Diddy, Tiny, Chunky. The whole team just did everything. They're gr they're the greatest. Unbelievable. It is an outstanding victory speech. Uh, that being said, I felt like I played pretty well. Um, I'd say so. I'd the say so leaving factory and then getting the hint that DK <laughs> was in factory Absolutely. at the area right after I left was big Brutal. sad. But that was really funny. Just terrifying. <laughs> so sad. But at the very least, I got it like right after. So it wasn't the end of the world, but it was just a big sad moment. And I'm sure stream that felt that way too. <laughs> The number of people who in chat were going, no, why do you do it? No, go back. We have to go back. It was uh, impressive to watch. Cause hey, I did bad hit detection wheel for you, chat. Yeah. That was only because I re I was on restream. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Likely story. Likely story. You're freaking out. We know. We all know it. Drum had gotten key four out of uh, Forest at th by that point, and he had read the hints in Lobby 5, which told you that it was on a Kasplatin factory. You were running through testing at that moment, and we were like, oh my god, it's the Kasplatin R&D. And not even a minute later, you pause exit out of factory, and we were like, oh my lord, no! <laughs> oh no! <laughs> I don't... I don't think I'd do that if I don't have key five. Because I was yeah. ready to read hints. <laughs> that makes a lot of sense. That, do that does make a lot of sense. The hints were great the hints gave you everything you needed it told you to go back for key four it told you where key seven was the only thing it didn't tell you was where bongos was which was in an absolutely ridiculous spot oh that was a fun spot yeah and i barely ever checked that check too so i'm very grateful i got to do it on stream yeah we'll go into that in a little bit but um yeah um do you like all the bean adjacent stuff uh, I was a little bit scared I had loaded my practice seed from last night. Sorry for spoilers if you were planning to play that. Because, <laughs> like, the the Dirt Patch and Tiny Ant Hill 2 were both hinted in the seed right off the bat, and they both had items in the seed I did last night by, by myself. So I was really scared I accidentally load up the wrong seed, and I was like, deja vu? It's truly really amazing how sometimes you get seeds that are the same and then completely different. It's like, no two seeds are alike, even though they, they, they might seem that way, and then you just get a complete curveball out of left field. It's just absolute madness. It was a good time. Um, this was a very, it, I guess for me, it felt very slow to start, but then like once I got into level four factory, things just like sped up super quick. Right. Yeah, that's the, uh, that's kind of the big difference that we noticed is you just got into factory first and started clearing out before, before drum did. And then you could take the information gained in factory, you know, key five, so on and so forth and snowball with it. Whereas he hunted for key four first for a little bit and then went into factory. Um, yeah, I think the choice to just charge into factory, go get your, your hint or go get your key five and testing it made a lot of difference there. Well, that's hard to say. If like it, the hints just pan out differently, it's 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 a totally different story. It's kind of weird. If the hints are just like in different locations, it plays weird. But yeah, yeah, it's kind and of the, the overall. Of the yeah, and overall, I just felt like I played really well. I feel like I barely ever get jet seeds, and I finally got one for once. So there you go. Yeah, a race to sixty. You were like forty GBs or something. You were like forty something GBs, and you're like, wait a minute. Go get my, it's like go hello. Get my it's time to go to Japes. I got nothing else. Yeah, let's go, Japes. <laughs> Boom. I think, yeah, definitely watching this, I felt that a lot of what you were doing, as well as what um, Drum is doing, as they currently are uh, in their final punch in Chunky Phase, um, it, it felt like it was a very a jet seed or some other way of, like, a very good seed to show what the randomizer can be. Uh, a good way to explore and see what the future does hold or what the game can hold for people who are first looking at it or looking to get into it. Yeah, I, I definitely felt like this was a good seed to show off here. And if you ever want to see DK6 for Randomizer show off in a bad way, just go to twitch.tv slash jxjacob for the worst possible settings you can possibly imagine. <laughs> yeah. Okay, hang on. I... He, he, he rated us, so plus one him. Yeah, <laughs> shout out to Jacob. <laughs> My I, condolences. He had an incident this morning. That was a, that was a, that was a, 
one of the seeds of all time. <laughs> And for anyone who is uh, watching who's not super familiar, just because we have the S2 preset already established doesn't mean that that's the only way to play this game. There are so many other options this game. that are included, that are available. Stuff that isn't inside the S2 preset includes shuffled fairy locations, shuffled locations for the dirt patches, the crowns, the battle pads, the including uh, the company coins that you get out of DK Arcade and Jetpack, locations for colored bananas. Everything can be shuffled a lot more this is this randomizer has a lot of depth to it that isn't necessarily seen exclusively in the uh s2 preset or in the s2 race preset so it's definitely worth checking out and exploring a lot more uh if any of this interests you even if there's some stuff that you don't like like personally i don't like fighting uh k rule so there are options to disable that part of it i you can find all of that and more at dk64randomizer.com yeah, we, lots of cool the... different options. Like, we even have, like, custom locations for some of the collectibles, too. And, like, even even if you want to, like, stick almost to, like, the like the vanilla rules, you just randomize locations. It's a totally different game. It's pretty sweet. There's infinite depth. Actually, infinite depth. Because every single seed is so unique that there's, there's <laughs> impossible to predict. It's crazy. Truly, absolute madness. And we love it. We love it so much that we're willing to deal with these weird-looking toes inside K. Rool's boot. As Drum is on his last toe, finishing up his seed. He gets a sub, too. That's a good time. Then we can pull him in here as well once he finishes on stream. One toe to go. One man to beat. He jukes. He jing. He jives. There it is. Oh, he's done. Beautiful with a time of 157.18. Pull him in. Hello, Mr. Drum. GG. Yeah, GG. That's uh, GG's. Quite the seed y'all y'all went for. And uh I tell you what, it was it was not a given who would come out on top on this one. There was definitely some decisions to be made that flipped things either one way or the other. What do you uh what do you make of the seed so far, Drum? Um, I thought, you know, for the first half of the run uh, that I got baited by the fairies. It was kind of disappointing to see a third melon. But, um, I mean, with all the hints that we got throughout the run, it kind of made sense uh, where we needed to go. A lot of our time was spent in Forest Aztec. Um, and then I just felt like it was a super jet seed for like the latter half of the run. It really was. You hit level four and you just blast off into the moon. Um, that's kind of the the big difference is Tudos opting to go into level four, got his key five, got all the information off that, as opposed to you hunting for key four a little bit longer. And pulling key four was good, and then it just got directly hinted away the horde, and it was like, well, okay, great. <laughs> awesome. Yeah. <laughs> Sometimes it, them's the beats. Uh. But that said, there was still, like, options at the end of the game, because with the bongos hint, that was almost certainly needed, there's a world where you could maybe randomly find bongos. It's, it's, there's, un, there's uncertainty involved. And then it puts it in, like, some crazy spot. We were kind of talking, like, you know, what are the odds that, like, if you're pushing to 60, what if you just, like, it, obviously, Japes is, like, objectively, I think objectively, the best option to get your GBs really quickly. Yeah. You could, you could maybe make a case other levels but japes is really good at that to getting fast gbs and so like making the correct choice there is you know fairly straightforward but what if what if you take an unorthodox option you clear up to 60 in light caves and maybe you just pull bongos there by a miracle i don't know there's there's yeah. there's, there's options it's it's crazy how even at the end of the seed it's it's, it's far from a given yeah and uh i didn't get any of the hints from galleon because at that point i mm. Felt like uh, I could just go to Helm to get the Bongos in, but yeah, yeah they, uh, they did not help you at all. <laughs> That's for sure. N no. <laughs> well, yeah, you got the hunky hint uh, for you got the the tunnels hint for Chunky K rule, and that was a uh, that was a great turnaround. Wait a minute, hang on, go back to Aztec. <laughs> Slow down there, buddy. Did you get that hint? I think you got that hint. Was that in Galleon? I think that was in Caves. Uh, I don't remember to be honest. You got the, uh, yeah, but you got the, the I know I got, I know I got hunky in the triangle back too. 
to back. Yeah, you went back for, I think, the Donkey Metal and just pulled Hunky at the same time. Maybe, I can't remember if you got that Tunnel Sinch or not. There was, there was a lot going on. Um, yeah. Oh, maybe it was the Rocket Barrel Hint? I don't know. Uh, it, was, it was somewhere in there. There's there good hinting to be done here. Speaking of the hints, how about those castle surroundings hinted to everything? <laughs> was that was that quad hinted? That was, that was quad hinted. Uh, two, four, uh, key seven, one, four, key four, and one for key eight. Yeah. And you know why it's quad hinted? It's because... Vines was in the back of Aztec, which meant Rocket Barrel was on the path to everything in the back of Aztec, including <laughs> including Vines. And then what else did you get back there? Maybe some metals would needed it. So like, yeah, I think DK's metal needs it. So that would put, well, yeah, that was a whole a whole deal. What else did you get back there? Uh, yeah, we got. Really out of the back of Aztec? No way. That's crazy. Hey, well, I'm going crazy then. Cool. Even still, yeah. Punch and Pineapple are also heavy hitters because Pineapple gets you barrels in the, the worm area. Speaking of the worm, what the heck is on the worm? <laughs> um, I went ahead and checked all those potions yeah. after we knew, the seed. We knew the llama was junk because that was in a foolish area. But I, I checked that anyway um, after the seed, even though I knew it was foolish. It was Ammo Belt. Ammo Belt, yeah. The rarer, okay, Virgo Banana. Yeah, um, that's right. got that. Yeah. Um, Forest <laughs> Apple was Orang Sprint. Sprint. Um, DK Cage Potion was Orange Throw, because I never checked that either. Right, yeah. Um, Helm Lobby was Orang Stand, and Cave Shop was Chimpy Charge. So I never found peanuts mm. after those, if it wasn't like... If uh, Bongs was in some peanuts locked area, I wouldn't have been able to get it. Oh, okay, peanuts were available. Yeah. Yeah. We were thinking of, like, what's the worst possible Bongos hint you could get? And honestly, with so many vials seen and uncollected, you'd, you're probably fine, like, <laughs> wherever it is. Although we were thinking, like, what if you got it in, like, the, the Caves of Beetle Race or something psychotic like that? That would be absolute madness. Hang on, let me let me cut this one. I mean, I did I did find the items for that. Some music for the people. There you go. Very nice. Yeah, it was all it was all available, and yet, well, no, you didn't have a super duper. So. All right, super duper. Yeah, well, that's what would that, be really that, scary. <laughs> that potion is lost to time now that no one's gonna play the seed anymore. So. Yeah. 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 Good seed though, so maybe people do play it. Woo. <laughs> oh, but hey, I I pulse the lanky. The seed dies with me. <laughs> <laughs> seed. Watch, watch, drum, and then Drummel pulse it right after the stream. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> seeds are cheap though. You just run on down to dk64randomizer.com, apply season two preset, and just game. Good times. Okay, there's more involved in the setup, but it's not that it's not that messy. And there's a million people <laughs> looking to help you, falling over themselves to help you over at discord.dk64randomizer.com. Good, good people, good place to be. Fun times had by all. One of the things I really like about the Discord as well is that we keep accidentally finding new strats. Yeah, <laughs> little, yeah like the greenhouse back like. Me. Well, what do we call it? What do we call the uh, greenhouse thing that cameras found? Like gamers and jump? I don't, I don't know. The but camp, the camp cut, I did, the camp I did that in the race. I, think yeah, it was camp I, I, I also tried to do it in the race, and I think I fell like halfway. It's hard. So. Rip. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, yeah, that's a, that's a that one's harder than it looks because the camera angle is not doing you any favors. Not that the camera angle does you any favors in this game anyway, but here we are. Uh, a GG to both of you though. That was a uh, a good race. Yep. That was and a fun race to watch. It was really good. It was real close the entire time. Finishing within ten minutes is uh, pretty impressive. Yeah, yeah, especially for a one v one. Oh yeah. One v ones can go all over the place. That's for sure. This is very nice when you're in you're in go mode at the same time. It's uh feels good. Feels good. Don't worry, Drum. I saved you from getting buzz sawed by Connor. Ah uh, yes, uh, the oh, winner. The winner of this match. <laughs> Tudos, you I'm sorry. get the winner of Connor and Spike Vegeta. Neither of which are slouches. So good luck. <laughs> that that is that is kind of disrespectful to Spike. Spike could very well upset Connor if Connor has a bad seed. It has happened. We're working is, that point of the bracket. It has happened. Yeah, before. I believe in that as well. It has happened Anything before. Can happen. That's that's definitely a possibility. It's been a it's a crazy bracket, and there is no shortage of crazy matchups coming up. 
I will be on stream tomorrow, same time, playing Camerson. That's gonna be a uh, the man that invented be... Cam House. I know. Oh, my goodness, <laughs> the man himself. It's gonna be a. That's gonna be a good seed. Better you better be here, Chad. Every single one of you, turn tune in. All however many of you are here, it's gonna be a good time. But uh, I think that uh that about wraps us up here today. Uh, yeah. Any uh, final thoughts, Tito's? Um, hopefully my uh, prediction bracket is doing a lot better because I was in like second last place going into round two. Oh no! Yeah, how's the coin flip bracket doing? <laughs> You're beating the coin um, flip bracket at least. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't. I don't think we need to talk about the coin flip bracket. <laughs> it's pretty good. <laughs> it's ramping. It's just, uh, it's just improving. First all, right, uh, all right. Two does. I, where can uh, people check you out? Um, at dk64randomizer.com. Oh, my stream. Oh, twitch.tv yeah, slash chudos. <laughs> uh, drum, how about you? Yeah, twitch.tv slash drum. Um, mostly playing randomizers these days. Sometimes I like to do my hockey podcast. Not sure if I'm able to slide that in, but if you guys like hockey, uh, might be, uh, doing that in the future as well. Nice. All right. The Rock, anywhere yes. else that these people can get you? You can find me on that Discord, baby. DK, Discord.dk64randomizer.com. I'm a fiend. I'm, I'm lurking. Good times. Um, You can check me out at twitch.tv uh, slash Mr. Rippy, MR underscore R-A-P-P-E. And since we're talking about hockey, you can find the newest fan of the Ottawa Senators at twitch.tv slash IHPI because for some reason he bandwagoned that team, and I have no idea why. <laughs> <laughs> he hyped up for months that he was going to choose a team, he's going to bandwagon them, and they're going all the way, and he picked that team. So I guess the Senators than... are winning all this year, everyone. One of the it's decisions. Better than being a Rangers time. fan. Oh, boy. <laughs> better than being a Rangers fan. Ooh, that's, that's rough, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Where, where, we we where are you sending to... us, Tudos? Alright, we are going to raid someone who is in the tournament currently. They are in losers, but they still made the bracket. They're a good player, so we will go ahead and raid Mashy. All right, and on that note, on behalf of Tudos Drum, Larac, and myself, uh, thank you very much for tuning in, and uh, morning. 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 Morning.